we looking at here, Mom? I'm looking at a little rain this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Happy rag ride! You excited for your first rag ride? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to get started. <laughs> right after I have coffee. Here she comes now, singing Mona Mona. Bump, bump, bump. Bum, bum. You ready for rag ride or what? I'm so excited. I've never done rag ride ever. It's my first time. I know, and it's nice and cool. It's so cool. And not hot anymore. It's not hot. Not hot. Now hopefully she doesn't hit any of that lightning as they're headed to Atlantic. That's where everyone's heading today. It's about a 60 mile ride. My feet are looking pretty awesome, I gotta say. I actually get to show you in a mirror today. Here she goes to do her first rag ride. Hey. Good morning. We are ready. I wanted to stay in bed and just be like, I'll just meet you guys there. <laughs> All right, we are getting our crew together in the lobby. I'm so excited to share this experience with them. Rag Rai is one of my favorite things in the world, and now I have all of my favorite people here to share it with me. There's Dana, Woo! first rider out of the you how good it feels to be in cool weather. I never thought it would cool down ever again after this past week. This is the Missouri, the official start of Ragbri. We're gonna go all the way to the Mississippi. And mom's psyched. Psyched. Woo, a little bit wet. Good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, what's yeah. up, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Mom's all wet, so is my camera. Yeah. <laughs> Singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious day to ride bikes in the rain. Absolutely, let's get some pie. Oh, let's get some pie. I'm going for the most unhealthy pie. There is no fruit in this. It's the fudge swirl. Oh yeah, hook it up. Oh, thank you. This is your Ragbri Eco Tip. Bring your own fork because there's lots and lots of plastic waste here. You bring your own, you're gonna save the planet a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I lost my mom. Mom! Mom, where are you? <laughs> She's probably off partying, drinking Bloody Marys. trouble keeping up with my mom because she's on that little e-bike and she just zooms up these hills. Mom, wait up! <laughs> she's not waiting up for me. ran into a guy named Jordan. What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? <laughs> and Jordan, I met him a couple weeks ago in Boulder. He is riding his bike across the country. You're only 18, right? Oh, yes, sir. 18, just graduated high school, and now we're here at Rack Bri. And he's riding his bike all the way across the country. I'm proud of this dude. Let's hey, go Ryan. get some pie, huh? Hey, guys, Ryan's been the biggest inspiration for this ride, <laughs> and I really support him all the way. So, guys, give him a like and a follow. How about yeah, that? <laughs> thank you. He's my new agent, by the way. And it's not just fried food and turkey legs. There's actually a salad bar. I know it doesn't look like salad because it's just drenched in ranch, but it's all vegetables in here. Real good stuff. I've now topped my 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 top distance. How far have we gone? I think we've gone 43 miles. You been loving Ragby or what? Uh, so far, Rack Ride has been anything or if more than I've expected. And you've been riding all the way across the country. How's that been going? My butt hurts. Nobody <laughs> told me that part. But a sore butt is the sign of a good day on a bicycle. Woo! 
We have made it to Atlantic, day one. It's time to go find Mama and Dana and Xantha. We lost Dana and Xantha at the very beginning part of the day. No clue where they went, but they're all camping with pork belly. And I think that's right around here. Mom, what is this? This is Vino. Mine to go. Yeah. So, Mom, how was your first day of Ragbri? My first day of Ragbri was really fun. Between yeah. the, the rain and the fun and the food and the, the corn food and the and people. And the people and yeah, it was good. You glad you came all the way out here? Yeah, I am. I'm yeah, glad you're here. You. Yep. Mm. All right, it's time for a very serious interview with Dana. Dana, how was your first day? Awesome! <laughs> it really was awesome. It was different than what I thought it would be because, as you know, it's been like hot, 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 and it was not hot. But it was nice. It was rainy. It was wet. It was cool. I got a little cold. I know that's hard to believe, but I still ate ice cream that was amazing. What about pie? Did you eat pie? I absolutely ate pie. I would not have ridden a day without pie. It's my first time I've ever ridden 60 miles today. I have 68 tomorrow. But I had a, I had a great time. I talked to, I think, everybody. Um, <laughs> And uh, it was challenging. It was challenging, but I had a blast. I, and I didn't eat like these guys ate. I, I had a pork chop. <laughs> I'm always like saying hi and talking to people and checking things out and using my ice cream bell. And every hill I tell people, this is it, last hill. But it's not, but it makes them feel better. been going at it all morning to make sure that we're having a good morning since about four in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. and shine. This is the first day I'm going to ride 68 miles. Yesterday was my longest day ever. Today's going to be my longest day ever. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Ta -da. <laughs> Looks like I got beat up last night. Man, my eyes are all puffy. I think I may have slept a little bit downhill or something. All the blood's in my head. You ready to ride bikes? Yep, I'm ready. I think so. So, I have a new friend, Rick, here. Yeah. What's up, Rick? What's up, dude? Uh, tell me some of your story. You, you, what you were oh, just telling me was incredible. Let's man. hear this. Well, uh, this is a pretty big deal for me. I'm about 285 right now, but uh, going back a few years, maybe more than a few, I was, uh, you know, when you're a big guy, you normally don't weigh yourself because a lot of scales don't click up that high. But I was close to 400 pounds like in the way high upper 300s and uh, I switched doctors and I was a DJ in San Francisco still am in the Bay Area and uh, so the doctor says hey you're Big Rick and I said yeah you know like, hey we had this fun little conversation and then he goes so Big Rick are you done you know and I'm like what done with what and he's like everything like are you, have you done everything you want to do in life I was it's kind of like in my mid late 40s no. Why do you ask me this, doctor? He's like, because you're like this close to having like heart attack, stroke, massive health issues. And so he goes, you have to change everything you're doing. Everything. What your goals are, how you achieve them, what you eat, what you do for exercise, who you hang out with. Change it all. You can't do 20 minutes a day, three days a week and get in shape like the TV, I'd say. It doesn't work. And I knew that, right? Everybody knows that. So I was like, okay. So I lived in the Oakland Hills and I would see people bicycling um, up and down the Oakland Hills. And I looked and I paid attention and they weren't like super athletes. They were lots of different people. And I thought, well, I'm like one of those regular people that does that. So I bought a pretty inexpensive but safe uh, kind of a beginner road bike and boom. I did a, I, my first goal was to do a 12 mile charity ride, which was totally awesome. I thought that was like an incredible goal to accomplish. And I really think it is for a lot of people and I'm still proud of it. And this is my third rag bar in 2019 riding across Iowa, which still kind of amazes me. And it's so much fun. And I get inspired by not just the super fit athletes, but I actually get more inspired because I relate to the bigger people that are on this ride. And I know that it's a huge deal for them. See this 
bracelet right here. This guy Mike made it last year, and I've been searching him out amongst the 20,000 people, and I found him. And it is, of course, time for a new one. How long did it take you to learn how to do this? Uh, I don't know. I was just goofing around with him when I was probably supposed to be working at the bike shop, and I <laughs> wrecked a bunch of perfectly good spokes. Sometimes I think the best place to find food at Ragbri or in the church basements. The food is always homemade and served with a lot of love. I love seeing windmills. I think they're beautiful. They produce clean energy. But the bad thing about seeing windmills means that they put them in a windy area and it's seriously windy this morning. You know I love historical markers and this one right here is pretty cool. This is the site of Jesse James's first train robbery. Just showed up in Adair, Adair, Iowa, and the signs along the way have said ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. I guess they're famous for ice cream. We're still run down homemade pie and ice cream. We have a uh, 1912 ice cream freezer from the old creamy here in Adair, and we turn it, we crank it with a tractor and a belt. 10 gallon at a time. And how many gallons did you make today? We made 50 gallons. It's really a great experience with this and, and I have ridden Ragbri before so I know what it is and it, it's great uh, and the people love it and one of the things that they really like is a, a homemade ice cream and pie. So when they said they Ragbri was coming through I said we'll make ice cream that's what we'll do. <laughs> I've been in Adair for 65 years and we've been making ice cream ever since I've been here so. Yep. So ice cream is your thing? Ice cream, ice cream is our is, thing. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I know it's lunchtime and I should be eating lunch food, but I think ice cream and cookies counts as lunch food, right? It feels so good to be back here at Ragbri. This is my fourth one now, and I'm starting to make friends that I only see once a year on Ragbri. So it's kind of like a family friend reunion type thing. And, you know, I love these cornfields, and I love the little puppy clouds, and all the people from around the world and around the country. It makes me very happy to be amongst my biker people. Uh, the bear belonged to my sister. She was a school teacher. So instead of carrying around a flat Stanley, she carried a teddy bear named Arlo. And everywhere she went, she took the bear with her. Bear has been to six different countries, 42 states. And she passed away back in November last year. And after Ragbri, uh, the bear is going to, Arlo is going to go to uh, Glasgow, Scotland to be with my sister's pen pal, Astrid. It is so nice to sit down in some grass after riding your bike all day. We are now in winter set, and this town looks like a Hollywood movie set. It is so perfect. It is like when you watch a movie of old time America, this is exactly what it looks like. I didn't think it still existed, but it still does. I mean, you have all the old storefronts, the old pharmacies, the old theater. It's good to see because small town America is dying. I've ridden my bike all over this country, and so much of small town America is just decrepit and falling apart and going out of business. But it seems like Iowa has found a way to keep their small towns thriving. Maybe it's Ragbri, I don't know what it is, but it is, it's, it's good to see it, it makes me happy. And it's nice that we're ending the day in cities like this. Yeah, it's Luke! What's up, bud? Not much, but just enjoying the ride. 